శృతి స్మృతి పురాణ ఇంపార్టెన్స్ ఆఫ్ నెగేషన్ ఇన్ రియలైజింగ్ ద ట్రూత్ అండ్ వన్ ఈస్ టు నెగేట్ everything that is negatable and the second is to negate the negator okay first is what to negate everything which is negatable but who is going to do all the negating that one who is doing all the negating finally what it had has to be done that has to be negated if that remains then what happens it will take back everything else again whatever is negated that's the one that takes on everything isn't it still they'll say i am negating so that i <laughs> who is the negator will remain and therefore it is said what na iti na iti no not so that is what now see you have to do it huh this this cannot be like a okay i write down notes and then i'm to do it and then you know like i read it again and i say yes na iti fine then then you have to who can do it for you guru can do it for you no even if he wants to no have you all understood this point very extremely important because many times no we feel guru aap ki kripa se hi sab kuch hota hai yes but his kripa uh, coupled with what our efforts our efforts will be blessed by him there is no doubt about that but if you say no i am not going to do anything <coughs> either you say you completely do anything and everything means everything in my life see it is, we are very wonderful people as far as dharma and moksha we surrender to bhagwan isn't it true dharma and moksha we said bhagwan aapke hath mein hai aap acha kaam karayenge to hum karenge aapke hath mein moksha hai so you give me moksha but artha kama do we leave it to bhagwan not at all we may say that but if i want to go for a movie do you say bhagwan aapke hath mein hai if the ticket comes to my hand <laughs> i go and book online is it true or not everything else i do food we don't say 
होगा भगवान तो देगा खटिए पे डू बी से लाइक दैट जिस यू हैव टू गेट इट वर्क फॉर इट दिस दैट एंड देन मोक्ष भगवान भगवान से नो 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 वट योग क्षेम वहामी हम आई विल टेक केयर ऑफ योर अर्थ काम इफ यू फोकस योर अटेंशन ऑन वॉट धर्म मोक्ष इज एन अंडरस्टूड वॉट बी अंडरस्टैंड एग्जैक्ट ऑपोजिट अर्थ काम आई विल डू धर्म मोक्ष भगवान विल डू देन वॉट हैपन्स ये इंपॉर्टेंट बात है हा? अंदर गया प्रॉपरली सो इट इज सेड यर न इति न इति दिस इज द मेथड वी हैव टू एक्चुअली डू दैट सेइंग एंड ऑल इज नॉट एक्चुअली इन साइड इट शुड हैपन आई एम नॉट दैट आई एम नॉट दैट न देन न घ्रूयते इट कैन नॉट बी ग्रैस बाय योर सेंसेस दैट्स वाई in i love the definition not you can't call it definition but atma is this in the mandukya upanishad na anta pragnya na bahish pragnya na ubhayata pragnya na pragnya na apragnya everything na this not that na this na agrahyam alakshanam avyapadeshyam everything is what uh uh not that not that na this not that like that only शांतम शिव इवन द वर्ड अद्वैत वॉट डज इट मीन नो द्वैत इज इन इट देर ऑल्सो और द डेफिनेशन इज इट इज नॉट सेट इट इज टू और थ्री और दैट इट इज इज नॉट टू मीन्स वॉट इज नॉट थ्री नॉट वन देन यूल से इट इज वन नो न एक दैट ऑल्सो इज सेट इट इज नॉट एक और यू बट एक आई थॉट आत्मा वॉज ओनली वन दैट वन इज बिकॉज यू हैव समथिंग कॉल टू थ्री फोर इट अलोन इज एक मेव अद्वितीय You understand? So therefore, every word that you can give, they'll say no, not this. Are satchit anand? No, sat means what? It is not a sat. Chit means what? It is not jada. Ananda means what? It is not dukha. That is the only way you can define. Na na vyathate. That is why it is said na vyathate. It is no dukha. <coughs> And it says when the person this he for him then. there is no concept of right and wrong good or bad this is my duty this is not my duty no there is no such thing no one can make him do they say even the vedas cannot say you have to do this this is your duty no no one can say it is your duty they may do things they do a lot of wonderful things in the world it's not that they don't do but no one can say it is your duty to do it you have to do it no they do it because they want to do it God wills that they do it. You understand? Like for example, Tapan Maharaj, he used to sit in the Himalayas. But when a sincere seeker came to him, what did he do? He gave knowledge. Whenever anyone, so many Mahatmas used to go to him and ask questions, and he used to teach. He used to teach them also. It's not that he never taught. He taught. He will sit there and he will teach. People would come to him. He never went from place to place. You understand? So he chose this as a his. He wrote some books also. Yeah, beautiful, excellent books. I don't know how many of you have gone through it. It's worth. They are beautiful books. So he wrote some books also. He taught some people also. So many things. That, it's not that he didn't do anything. Okay, there's another. This that he didn't do it. No, no, no. He did. But this is a, no one could say no. You have to teach. No. If he decided one day he won't teach, he won't teach. Is that clear? No one can force him. You have to do this, na krute, a krute sprushate. By doing something, he is not going to gain anything. By not doing, he is not going to. Do. See, our life na is always we have to do something to get something. Is it true or not? To get something, we need to, as long as there is praptavya. there is kartavya will you remember what as long as there is praptavya there is kartavya kuch paana hai to kuch karna padega kartavya bhi hota hai and as long as i think i am a jeeva i will have kartavya because i am an entity 
I am a man, so as a human being, I will have some kartavya towards humankind. As a citizen of a country, I will have kartavya towards the country. As a, uh, uh, what do you call it, as a member of a family, I'll have duty towards my family. See, kartavya comes unasked. Will you remember this? What? Kartavya, depending on your position in life, kartavya is always there. Okay. Now, he is truly out of the kartavya. Why? Because there is no more praptavya, number one. Not only not no more praptavya, there is no karta. Kartavya is always for the karta. If there is no karta, there is no kartavya. There is no praptavya, there is no karta bhava. And therefore, actions will happen through them. Not that everyone just sits doing nothing. They may do things. Some people do a lot of, how many uh, actions? They have gone all around and they have built schools and hospitals and so many things. Very clear? But it is, there is no, what? Pressure, like we have, all of us have a lot of pressure, isn't it? Doing and all. And if you don't do, how you, Rama, how many people keep telling you? Have you... <laughs> I am telling you now also, so many people, ha, do mahina kuch kiya nahi. You did not do your duty. So many must be as telling as though, what duty was there? Nahi, you have to, what? You just went and sat there and did nothing. You say, you please try to do that nothing what I did. <laughs> you. <coughs> no, I am telling you, people will say, and at that time only all, everyone has a definition of what they are And we are all very good in telling other people their duty. You should do this and you, this is your duty to do this and your duty to get married and your duty to this and your duty, everything is there. Isn't it true? So everyone reminds us of what? Our duties. And then sometimes we get psyched into thinking that is our duty, which is not our duty. How many of them have done that? Raising children, grandchildren, everything. And what do we feel? It's some ridiculous notion. I am staying at home, I am eating food from there, so I have to do. Rama, when they were children and you were giving them food, did you feel? Did they feel, okay, okay fine, I am eating their food, so? Are you understanding or not? This funny notion that parents have, ki ghar mein rehte hai to, I mean, I'm not saying don't do your own thing and all that, but this sort of an obligatory, funny notion that you have to raise what? Your grandchildren. And it's like your what? Have they made you feel like that? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It is parents' duty. I always say, remember this sentence. It is the parents' duty to raise the child. It is the grandparents' duty to grace the child. Will you remember that? What? It is the parents' duty to raise the child and it is the grandparents' duties to grace the child. So grace the child. Tell them stories, tell them, teach them nice, good, good things, pamper them once in a while, give them. And if you can't bring children into your and can't raise them, then don't bring them, full stop, end of the matter. But what do they do? They make the grandparents feel what? Bolo. We are all day this and all, at least we need some this and all. And when you all were uh, young mothers working or whatever, you all never had a break, right? That time you had to do everything, plus take care of the mother-in-law, the father-in-law, and, and the whole works. And you did whatever else you had, right or wrong? And then now, the daughter-in-law says, I can't do anything because I am working. So mother-in-law is doing nothing. And, they make, and the mother-in-laws are also Mahapurushas. Because they have no other goal in their life except. So, what happens? Happily, nice. What? 
funny relationships. We half the things we call as duty. We never think we have a duty towards this jivatma to get mukta. Is it true or not? Don't you have a jivatma duty towards this entity? One relationship which has been with you forever. See, in this relation, you may have a daughter and a son and a father and a mother and a sister and a brother, etc., etc., etc. You have been in a relation with God in which janma? Bolo, bolo. Every janma. That relation has been an eternal relation. And that relation, we do nothing for that. Yes or no? And every other day, I have to do my, I have to do my, I have to. And that relation which has been there forever. The relation of the wave with the ocean has been forever. Right or wrong? In every birth of the wave, it is related intimately with the ocean. That relation has never. It is sustaining us. It is holding us. It is caring for us. It is everything. Yes or no? And that is a relation we... What? Last priority. So therefore it is said over here, <laughs> one who realizes Atma, Tarati, he just crosses over all Kruta, Akruta, etc., etc. Now, this is a very beautiful mantra which follows. You can imagine how much of commentary and all is given in all these different pages. I'm turning and turning and turning. Mm. Our Bhagwan Shankaracharya Ji writes beautifully about this. He quotes very nice. He says, A person, when you find honey in your backyard, why would you go searching for honey in the forest and in the mountains? Then you found honey in your backyard. Similarly, a Brahmagnani finds Ananda. Where? <laughs> then why will he go? What? <laughs> Looking for Ananda here and there. What a beautiful shloka where Shankaracharya goes. Now, this is the mantra. We are going to read the next one, the 23rd. Tad etad richa abhyuktam. Esha nityo mahima. Brahmanasya Navardhate Karmana No Kaniyan Tasyaivasyat Padavittam Viditva Nalipyate Karmana Papake Neti Tasmad Evam Vith Shanto Dantaha Uparatastitikshuhu Samahito Bhutva Atmani Eva Atmanam Pashyati Sarvam Atmanam Pashyati Naenam Papma Tarati Sarvam papmanam tarati Naenam papma tapati Sarvam papmanam tapati Vipapaha virajaha A vichikitsaha Brahmano bhavati Esha brahmalokaha Samrat Enan prapitosi iti Hovacha yagya valkyaha Soham bhagavate videhan Dadami mam chapi Saha das yeti Saha dasya yeti that richa vapyukta here uh, the rishi quotes another richa richa means another uh, rig veda mantra apyukta he says what what was said in the previous this he gives 
एष नित्य महिमा ब्राह्मण से यर ब्राह्मण डज मीन बाय बर्थ ब्राह्मण यर ही मीन्स ब्राह्मण वन हू रियलाइज ब्राह्मण यर ब्रह्म जानाति इति ब्राह्मण ओके दिस इज द मीनिंग गिवन बाय यर वो ब्राह्मण वो ब्राह्मण जो होता है उसकी महिमा कैसी होती है नित्य महिमा वाई डज यू हैव नित्य महिमा बिकॉज आत्मा इज वॉट नित्य सो महिमा ऑफ आत्मा इज वॉट नित्य ओके सी द महिमा ऑफ एवरीथिंग एल्स इन द वर्ल्ड विल चेंज राइट द ग्लोरी ऑफ एवरीथिंग विल चेंज समथिंग विच वॉज कंसिडर्ड एज ग्लोरियस इन वन टाइम मे नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड सो ग्लोरियस एट अनदर टाइम डू यू अग्री विथ मी समटाइम सम पीपल फाइंड समथिंग ग्लोरियस अबाउट पर्सन एंड देन टू जनरेशन लेटर आर वैल्यू सिस्टम्स चेंज एंड वॉट वी कॉल इट नॉट सो ग्लोरियस sometimes something not so great about a person is found then what happens when you realize oh my god this person also did it then the glory what so many people after they have died have got a bad name so many people during, during their lifetime itself it's become from good name to bad name things like that happen but this atma is what nitya mahima kya baat hai nitya mahima brahmanasya why because atma mahima will not change Atma remains the same. Its mahima also remains the same. Anyone who realizes atma will always understand it as wow, oh my god, this is it. You understand? So its mahima will always be nitya mahima brahmanasya na vardhate karmana no kaniyan. It never increases or decreases. It never changes. It is changeless. Atma is changeless. Its mahima is also changeless. That is said. Tasya eva syad. पदवित्तम विदित्वा न लिप्यते कर्मणा पाप के न इसे इज पदवित यू बिकम व्हाट नाउ नाउ कम्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सी व्हाट इज दिस सिंपल क्वेश्चन सो यू हैव बिकम व्हाट माइक विथ विथ मींस नोअर व्हाट नोअर ऑफ माइक इज कॉल्ड व्हाट माइक विथ ओके नोअर ऑफ माइक इज कॉल्ड माइक विथ टेबल विथ मीन्स वॉट नोअर ऑफ टेबल इज कॉल्ड table with mic with etc now this is interesting when you know brahman see when you know the mic you do you become the mic you become mic mic the knower will always remain different from the known interesting na the knower will always remain different from the known but when you know brahman what will happen what do you understand brahman brahma aham asmi what do you understand that brahma i am so knower of brahma becomes what are you rama what an <laughs> interesting na knower of mic is what mic with knower of table is what table with and knower of brahma is what brahma with means he becomes brahma he doesn't remain knower of brahma he becomes what brahma brahma with brahmaiva bhavati very famous statement what brahma with brahma eva bhavati brahma with is brahma not knower of brahma he is no more called what knower of brahma he is called what brahma kya baat hai na now if someone goes around you know i am a brahma with then he is not a brahma with he is a brahma with what is it ah if someone says you know you know you know you me me i am what brahma with then what <laughs> brahma with cannot remain still like a mic with separate from the yes if you really realize brahma you know that what aham brahma asmi that two separate remember we did the exercise no i and that body that i so with brahma how will it become i and brahma will be what one for us body always is separate right i know the body i know the body is all you can always experience but with brahma i know the brahman i it will not happen it will be what i am brahm you see the difference that you try to do with the body this is not a good time for morning class do you all realize that after breakfast means khatam that food will i always believe that i never a good time this already some of you are looking uh, like that only because the blood goes where 
here. So it is not available, I'm mean, sorry, the blood goes from here to here because this is where all the action is happening. So here what happened? No action is happening. <laughs> all action is happening here. I have no choice, you know, I have to be alert, right? Even with a couple of dosas inside me, I have to be alert, but you people can afford to all look sleepy and all that. So anyway, <coughs> that's why that, this is never a good time. But anyway, today we had uh, Pishek, that's why. So, <coughs> Brahma. So, Pada with your Pada, Pada means the word, Pada means that, that Brahman, that Pada, that Tattvamasi. In that, what do you understand? When you become a Pada with, you don't remain Pada with as a separate thing. You become what? That Pada, I am. That's how we become. Pada with, Viditva, Nalipyate Karmana. He is not touched by any action. His own action or others' action. Tasmad, Evam with, Shantaha, Dantaha, Uparataha, Titikshaha. So people who want to know this truth, what do they do? They become Shanta, control their mind. Danta, control their indriyas. Uparata, withdraw into themselves. And what do they do? It is said over Titikshavaha. There is a difference between Tapaha and Titiksha. I think I have spoken it once. Tapa means austerities. Titiksha means forbearance. See, austerities you take up. Tapa you take up. You say, okay, I will fast on Monday or I will not eat this on Tuesday or I will do this much of a japa on this day or something, whatever. This is called tapa. Tapa is austerities or I will only have so many dresses. I will not buy more than these number of clothes. There are some people who take such vows. It will last me forever. You know, so depends on whatever tapas you have taken. So you take it on. That is called what? Tapas. Okay. I know of a person who is amazing. Said that I will only have 50 items. So 50 items means toothpaste is called one item. Okay. Toothpaste is called one item. Toothbrush is called one item. No, imagine. And then you have to keep only how much? 50. Interesting, isn't it? This, this one. This is called what? Austerity. You take it on. Tapa. Only this much and nothing more than that. So can you imagine? Sets of clothes also very limited. Everything just completely. This much and no. One item comes extra. She said one. I have to give it up. <laughs> so this is called tapas. Okay. And titiksha is what? Whatever comes unasked. The small pinpricks of life at the physical and the emotional level that come unasked to you, you forbear that. That is called titiksha. For example, you are sitting over here and you have no... That you come here and do japam is your tapa. Okay, that you come here and do sit up one hour I will do, that is called tapa. But once you come over here and one fly comes in, then what will you do with the fly? That is your titiksha. Have you understood? You did not invite the fly and said, okay, I will sit where flies are there. You did not say, okay, let me start. It's no. Then that becomes your titiksha. Understood very clearly? So, is titiksha important in life? Yes. Sahanam sarva dukhanam apratikara purvakam chinta vilap. To forbear all without complaining and cursing. That is the important thing. We also forbear, but with a lot of what? Complaints. Aaj khane mein meetha nahi hai, aaj isme ye nahi hai, aaj aisa hai, paisa hai, ta 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 Is it true or not? So much of peh poon peh we keep on doing for every small thing. Right? So that stopping all that peh poon peh is called what? Titiksha. And you take it cheerfully, okay, fine, today, like that. Today, no salt, okay, less salt, no problem. Then that is called titiksha. And you take it up on yourself, it's called austerity. Have you understood the difference? Both are important in life. So it says, dantaha, samahitaha, one who withdraws himself and absorbs, try to absorb himself within. And all this is possible when at the outer level you become a little harmonious. As long as the outer world, we keep on uh, reacting or this, na, we cannot have this samahita. Are you getting the point? There are some people who, uh, 
as though appear samahita. Meaning what? Uh, they'll be most of the time they'll be morose and uh, like that. See, that is not called depression. Is not a, what? There are people who just don't like to do anything. If they had their way, they would just sit and do. So that's not a good, great quality. Okay, please remember. Just because a person doesn't, that is height of tamoguna. Okay, see, tamoguna looks very close to sattva guna. Huh? Be very careful. What? Tamoguna and sattva guna are what? That is why now many times people feel I am in meditation when they are absolutely nicely sleeping. Yes or no? And they feel, अरे ये घंटा कहाँ निकल गया पता ही नहीं चला. दूसरे सब को पता चला. You did not know. You are the only one who didn't know where the time went. Everyone else knew where your time went. You you get the because sattva guna looks very close to what? Tamo guna. You feel that mind is so quiet, so quiet, so quiet. No, it's dull. You get the point. So that so-called meditation, you know, after you eat a lot and then you sit, there's nothing. There's no quality in that meditation. Go into the. Understood, no? So you have to be very careful. That sattva guna looks similar to tamo guna. So please don't get into. I rajoguna is much better than tamoguna. Have you all understood? At least if you do rajoguna, some ambitious, some like this, you will do wrong. When you do wrong, phat phat, jagat will give you right or wrong. Then you will become a little more alert. But if you go into tamasik, this time I am not doing any harm, na. I may not do any good, but I am not doing any. Arey, please do something, do harm. At least that way you'll get five slaps, and you will what? Understood or not? <clears throat> See, tamo good should guna should never be glorified because many times you know people in home also know uh, the depressed people are depressed they just say ha I say ha I say hurry you please this is bad I have seen homes where people who are depressed uh, no one really does anything about them they just leave them alone like in that what it's terrible. So here you, it is said over here that our bhava should not be like a danta, shanta, not tamasik shanti. Okay, danta, shanta, uparata, samahita, all sattvic qualities. Have you understood this? Samahita, the ability of the mind to withdraw and put in a state of absorption. That type of a ability, samahita. Hmm? Bhutva. Now I love this phrase. All of you, please underline. Atmani eva atmanam pashyati sarvam atmanam pashyati. This is a beautiful phrase. Atmani eva atmanam pashyati. He sees himself in himself. And sarvam atmanam pashyati, and he sees himself in everyone. Sarvabhuta sthamatmanam, sarvabhutani cha atmani. This is a phrase in the Bhagavad Gita, in the Upanishad. Famous phrase. Try to understand what it means. Beautiful. See, there are certain things now in Vedanta. The very thought of it, the concept of it, now brings that immense. Joy, just uh, what? This is the aim of all our this. Okay, now to see everything in me and me in everything. Simple language. What? What? See everything in me and me in everything. To dramatize that, two chapters of the Bhagavad Gita are there. One is called the tenth chapter, and the other is called the eleventh chapter. In the tenth chapter, what does Bhagwan say? See me in everything, all the vibhutis. In the this you see me. In the forest you see me. In the mountains you see me. In the rivers you see me. In this you see me. You see me. See me. See me there. Sarva everywhere. And in the eleventh chapter, what he says? 
See everything in me. <laughs> Didn't he say that? And he did he not show? Virat. It's a dram- dramatization of this sort of thing. That what? See me in all and all in me. This is the actual knowledge that happens. The we call it Sarvatmya Bhava. Ki Sabki Atma. Meri atma hai. Main sab ki atma hoon. Ab sab meri atma hai. Everything is in me. Because atma is the substratum of everything. And I am in everything. I am the heart of everything. I am the self of all. Kya baat hai? How can I hate you? Can I hate you? Why not? Why not? Because I am in you as you. Does anyone hate themselves? You say, no, no, sometimes I really hate myself. No, you hate your mind. You hate yourself. What do you hate? Your mind you may hate. You may hate whatever else you may have become or something like that. But you can never hate the Atma. Self-love is the most natural thing in the world. Have you understood? And actually, whom do we love? Atmanas tu kama ya sarvam priyam bhavati. Very, very clearly. You know, there's a dialogue between Yagya Valkya and Maitreyi, and in that, very clearly says, What? We don't love anyone for the sake of the other person. We love everyone for the sake of ourselves. Natu putra. Uh, you don't love the sun for the sake of the sun. But Atman has to come for your own sake. You love the sun. We should be very clear. And you should know that is very selfish. In our Rama, everyone loves each, everyone for the sake of the Self-love is not created and cannot be destroyed. Every other love is created and therefore can be destroyed. What? Bolo, bolo. You will say, no, no, you know, the, the love that the parent has for the child, created or not created, when the child came into existence, you started loving or not? Bolo. Before that, love for husband created or not created, husband or wife or spouse or whatever, you know. Brother or sister created or not created, everyone created or not created. Yes, love for oneself, when did you create it? <laughs> uncreated and unconditional do you do you love yourself more on monday less on tuesday <laughs> you love yourself homogeneously continuously ec- no exception unconditional and there is no such thing like more and less nothing it's the same eka rasa self love is yes then we say, no, I love uh, so and so more than my own life. I will give my life away for the sake of uh, my country or for this. So don't they love them, the country more than themselves? They, they want to give away their life for the sake of the country. So don't they love the country more than themselves? Huh? They don't see the country as the self. They're willing to give up their life for the sake of their country, so they love the country more than themselves. And we say everything we love for the sake of the self. Why? They feel that in giving up their life for the sake of a country, I am loving myself. My self-love alone expresses every other form of love. And therefore, Actually, if at all there is anyone who truly loves you, it is a Brahma Gnani. Will you remember this? What? What? If at all anyone truly, 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 truly loves you, it is a... Why? Because he can't help but love you. Full stop. (laughs) Because he loves you, irrespective of who you are because he loves you because he says what you are my own self 
आर यू विथ मी बोलो एवरी अदर लव वॉट आता है and we are mahapurushas we always say as when someone stops loving us we say ha hey, dekho that was but when we stop loving so many other people we don't say dekho dekho we feel hey, ab kya hai i don't know what we have a right to what <laughs> but others have right to we say accept me for what i am but do we accept others for what they are you understand we have all our own conditions but atma prem is what e respective of anything and everything you just love yourself full stop so that is why who loves us truly who loves us truly brahman why it is simple thing why sarvasya atmanam pashyati because he sees the self in everyone as his own self that is why he loves everyone irrespective for them not love means not a human being only or a, a plant animal everything for them is what the gurudev's uh, this it comes wandering in the himalayas not that's tapan maharaj's but uh, my trek through uttarakhand and gurudev once was going and in some cave some mahatma was there sitting and as and in this leg there some insect was there so the insect was falling away you know because the leg was there it was not able to so it will take and put it back again and that insect was uh, it lit eating up or whatever and then what happened what are you doing you know he says ye sharir ka mujhe kaam nahi hai usko kaam aa raha hai usko i have no more work for this body and if this uh, the creature is I'm, i'm not saying everyone does these type of things i'm only saying ke look at there sarvatma bhav there is a story of shri ramakrishna paramhansa someone was beating a cow and then here he was ah ah and they found marks on his back have you heard this one if you read the life history of our shri ramakrishna paramhansa you'll find something मार वहां हो रहा था और सर्वात्मा भाव देर वॉज दिस पर्सन वल्लार ग्रेट सेंट इन तमिलनाडु एंड इफ सम टू पीपल ऑल्सो आर सेइंग सम हार्श वर्ड्स समथिंग लाइक हिज ओन हार्ट विल बर्न see not people who are sentimental and the weak man no no this is very different here it is like their own atma it's their you know it's said sukham va yadi va dukham sayogi paramo matah atma pamyena sarvatra samam pashyati yojuna this is what is said in the 6th chapter of the bhagavad gita which says for them it is atma up- upama like myself only so when ma uh, anand uh, mai you know is when people used to go and cry and all that and all and he she used to say he think ki sometimes when she is in her own atma bhava and all that and she would be there and she says where is the pain show me i want to see because she would be in that ananda state some samadhi state she used to be sometimes and sometimes when something they see the pain of others and sometimes they just take it on the stories i my one of my favorite pastimes is reading the stories of uh, the life histories of uh, great saints sri ram uh, ramdas swami once shivaji came to meet him and he had fever so they came to know this that he came to know that shivaji has come so he said okay fine he went out met and all he says but i am told that uh, you had fever no 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 nothing then shivaji went into the cave and saw that there was a blanket and that blanket was uh, uh, shaking so this is what happened he says no i had to meet you so little time i told the blanket to shake can you imagine that this for some time now this then i'll go back and take it then hari rama when you hear these stories they seem strange they seem but remember but सर्वभूतस्थम आत्मानं सर्वभूतानि च आत्मनि संपश्यम ब्रह्म परमं याति ब्रह्म सनातन दीस थिंग्स ना दैट्स दैट जस्ट इमेजिन मेनी मेनी टाइम्स दिस अ वेरी गुड थिंग टू डू जस्ट इमेजिन 
the state of a mind of a gnani can we all do that paisa chahta hai kya to karne mein kya jata hai what imagine that state of a what gnani just imagine what what type of a mind that person would have what type of a freedom that person will have what a life that person will have unbelievable unbelievable so it is said over here eh, that papmanam karoti sarvam papmanam tarati he crosses over all papma and what is said here is unbelievable finally you said come on guru shishya samvad hua yakya valkya and who janak ma you forgot who is the student ha huh? don't forget the janak maharaj so when you know what he said i love this he said ब्रह्म लोक ओ यू आर अ ब्राह्मण एंड नॉट ओनली दैट वॉट सम्राट ब्रह्म लोक प्राप्त सी यू हैव अटेन्ड ब्रह्म हु सेट दैट गुरु इज टेलिंग हु तू पहुंच गया क्या बात है ना अरे बाबा वट ब्रह्म लोक प्राप्त सी यू हैव अटेन्ड ब्रह्म प्राप्त सी उवाच याज्ञ वर्ग्य तुमको मिल गया खेल खत्म योर केस इज क्लोज एंड वट डज द शिष्य डू वट डज द शिष्य डू इमीजिएटली सो हम भगवते विदेहा दामी ही गिव्स गुरु दक्षिणा दैट्स द थिंग वट डज ई डू विदेहा दामी आई गिव यू माई किंगडम विदेहराज This is yours, O Guru. With a hand, the dami I give you. And he says, not only that, what? Huh? Mam cha api sah dasyeti. I also give myself as now I become your dasa. I am at your command. You, whatever you want, you tell me to do. so what is my i give you and what is i i offer you kyun khel khatam i am brahman i have no duties i have nothing more ho gaya mera kaam bhi ho gaya aapka kaam bhi ho gaya dono ka ho gaya ab i have nothing more to do with the kingdom i have nothing to do more with this then what do you think he did You think Yagya uh, Valkya uh, took the Videha Raj and then said, "Okay, fine. Now you you become my servant." No. What did he do? Okay, you rule for my sake. Khatam. Jao. You understand? And he said, "Okay, no problem. But now it doesn't matter whether he rules or doesn't rule." Have you understood now? It's not that he became then he became a servant or something like that. He ruled. He said, okay, fine. I appoint you again and re back as your this. You gave me back. I give you back. Go. I, you give me enough cows. Uh, my work is over. Your work is over. Finish. Kya baat hai na? Kitni badiya baat hai. Swami ji, lecture. The, this is over. Some two mantras are there na? Huh? I have left it. <laughs> this also. I just wanted because such a dramatic. I, I see when such endings are the happy ending na. Everyone likes happy ending. Another wo bichara reh jata hai. Say kya hua usko? मिला कि नहीं मिला कुछ अरे मिला क्या मिला वन क्या नहीं मिला एंड देन ही रियलाइज व्हाट इज किंगडम कंपेयर टू दैट फ्रीडम ऑफ द वर्ड आत्म ज्ञानम आत्म ब्रह्म ज्ञानम व्हाट इज दिस किंगडम एंड ऑल चे नथिंग प्लीज टेक टेक माय सेल्फ आल्सो आई एम योर्स दिस इज हाउ दिस ब्यूटीफुल डायलॉग इज देयर नाउ नेक्स्ट टू मंत्रस मोर अथे वी शैल सी पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमदच्यते हरि ओम श्री हरि